Well, welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Blue, Part 2, and this time we're going to mostly focus on Viridian Forest. I think there's a hidden object in here somewhere. Oh, I ain't worth finding anymore. Go that way. Um... Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Weedle, huh? Yeah, I've been training quite a bit. Oh, I forget it. Yeah, I caught Pikachu while we were off screen, too. I really should have recorded this and Instead of just caking it like, oh, oh well. Um, let's wheedle down. Um, yeah. But since it doesn't really have any flying moves, it's going to be about as effective as using Pikachu. Oh well, whatever works, I guess. No, we'll just keep Fox out for right now. Okay, that's all of his Pokemon. Huh, I ran out of Pokemon? Uh, measly seventy Poke dollars and Monarch's finally reached Butterfree status. Which is what we want because Metapod just blows. Uh, I guess my brother argue I'd be better off ripping off Bulbapedia's um guide for areas the point out what is and isn't good in the area, but quite frankly, I'm not patient enough to really want to go there and constantly just steal route information, I guess. Potion. Um, found a hidden potion, yay. Yeah, well, what's the hurry? Of course, I'm starting out with Mark up front, and that's going to bite. Um, look at your sent out Weedle. Porphyry's tackle attack still sucks. Come on. 
Ah, uh, just barely one there. Got 90 Poke Dollars. Of course, now I'm gonna have to switch up Pokemon. You notice the bushes on this roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Yeah, I know. Isn't there a bunch like Nidoran sitting around here? Regardless, I probably ought to just finish this and then go to the Pokemon Center anyway. catch one of you anyway. When Jilly Lost sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too, Snore. Let's heal up then. I'll be, we won't be able to get our last team member for a bit longer. Though considering we have, um, Squirtle in our rank, our group. It shouldn't be that much of a problem to get through the cave, to be honest. As they grow, some moves must be taught by the trainer. Yeah, HMs, TMs. Or hurt or asleep. But it's not a sure thing. Well, yeah, it's not a very sure thing unless you use the Master Ball. It never fails to catch his Pokemon. Serious Pokemon trainers, and most of the ones around here are bug catchers. Okay. Um, I don't really want to go to the museum right now. Ah, trade Pokemon that doesn't like to listen to orders from unskilled trainers, huh? No, it's totally not worth it. Fairies came from the moon. They appeared after Moonstone fell on Mount Moon. Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. Many trainers, stupid. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. Junior trainer male wants to fight. Junior trainer sound Diglett. 
Go Shell Shock! Diglett's pretty fast, huh? I might have to hit to the back to the Pokemon Center just to heal up. Ouch, critical hit. It'll probably hit me first, not my luck. Oh wait, you get to use Pokemon. That's right, you get to jump right to using those. Unlike attacking. Okay, let's dig it down. Um, grew level ten. No. My other Pokemon wouldn't have much advantage here either. I probably should have healed instead of doing that. I have to buy more potions, apparently. Okay, got it. So we gained another level. Um, darn, light years isn't time, it's measures distance. $220 for winning. I probably should go to a mart and buy some more potions, actually. Yeah, I want some potions. Yeah. No, there's nothing else you can do. I just want to get out of here. Um, I guess technically I should um heal up here. You know, the only one damaged is um Squirtle, but he's gonna be my main advantage in this fight since I don't have a fighting Pokemon. It's always nice to be told by a, a nurse that they want to see you again, right? Yeah, it's probably not that good of an idea. Oh, that's right. There's only him and that one trainer in here. Purest gym leader. I live in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. You still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. Brock wants to fight. Brock sound Geo dude. Doesn't look like much of anything like this show, to be honest. Plus, Geo dude is. Plus, Brock's Pokemon aren't just Rock type; they're Rock Ground, meaning they got even more of a disadvantage than the last trainer's Pokemon did against Shell Shock here. Use Onix. No, I think I'll take on this giant Rock Snake with Squirtle here. Yeah, I know. I don't use his nickname very much, do I? I'll just about cripple it. Shell Shock to level 13. Level defeated Brock. I took you for granted. 
It's proof of your victory. Here's the boulder badge. Oh, I received the boulder badge. Yeah. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It spares... It's bearers become Pokemon. Pokemon become more powerful. The technique flash can now be used anytime. Wait, take this with you. See so TM34. TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. A TM is good only once, so when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. TM34 contains Bide. Your Pokemon will absorb damage and battle, then pay it back double. So basically it's a technique to throw on something like, say, a Jigglypuff. Hmm, guess we should start heading out this way. You looked at me, didn't you? Well, not technically, I'm not even facing you, but yes, I'm within your side of vision, so let's battle. Last wants to fight. Last sent out Pidgey. Go, Fox! It's Pidgey on Pidgey action here. Take a sand attack to the face. Oh man, I hit with sand attack and it still got very good accuracy, huh? Oh, I guess mine's gonna miss, unlike his. Nope. Let's use Pidgey. A Lobo change Pokemon? No, we'll hold on to Pidgey or Fox now. Sorry. Sand attack failed. Take another gust. I'm gonna have to head back at this rate. I just got out of here. Hey, I'm shooting for in forest. I bet his sprite's still over there, too. Bugcatcher wants to fight. Bugcatcher sent out Caterpie. Why wouldn't you evolve your Caterpie into a Butterfree? Seriously, what's the point of having a level 10 Caterpie? No. There's no point. None of my flying Pokemon know a flying move. And I only got one. Oh yeah, because I did what I did. I forgot I can't now go back and fight Gary before I leave town. Oops. Oh well. It'll be the first time I missed that fight. Okay, we're up a level. Yes, 
this. Let's change Pokemon. Let's see. Level 10 Carapy versus a level 10 Butterfree. This is going to be a horribly long matchup. Thank you for constantly using String Shot here. Need to go heal Pikachu. We'll probably faint by the time we get back in town. Right about now, probably. Yep. Let's see, let's heal him up. Fighting fits. Yep. Definitely see a lot of Nurse Joys right now. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Random trivia, I guess. Youngster wants to fight. Youngster sent out Rata. Damn it. Quick attack. Probably gonna keep using well tail whip. Probably gonna fall up with a quick attack though. <sighs> Knew it. Yes, yeah, so let's change Pokemon again. Gonna go one battle, then have to go back to heal. Jeez. And you'll wonder why I usually grind ever loving daylights out of this game. I'd like to make it to the Pokemon Center at the other end of the route, at least. <sighs> Let's heal him up. <sighs> I really need to level up. Butterfree, so it learns confusion. That might dominate a little bit more. As it stands, it's really, really horrible just to have tackle on a Butterfree. At the very least, they could use some of the powder moves so they can actually start knocking opponents out so then it can attack a bit more freely. Your trainer, let's fight. Bug Catcher wants to fight. 
Weedle, which means I'm basically gonna have to switch out Mark right off the bat because Mark really sucks at fighting poison Pokemon. Not that Fox is much better because he doesn't have a flying move yet. And I got poisoned right off the bat. Great. One down. Yes. This fight's gonna be long. Pointlessly long. Because we both know that this cocoon is only gonna know Harden. Seriously? My tackle attack of all things missed? It happens, don't get me wrong, but it's so rare. Critical attack, he got in. It's going to take us quite a few attacks to finish this. About to use Caterpie. Um, no, I'll keep Mark out. Mark's definitely not a good case in, pick in this case. Seriously, some would argue I would be better off going with um Weedle. At least then I could have the advantage. In fights against bug Pokemon by using poison. But Butterfree's always been my favorite of the final insect transformations to be honest. Well bug Pokemon. Definitely not changing. I think I can take out a stinking Metapod. It might take me longer than I'd like though. We might be ending today's um run after this Pokemon trainer battle and I still gotta get up far enough to go after Jigglypuff. Which sort of bites, because it probably means I'm gonna have to catch it off screen or I'm gonna spend an episode looking for one. And neither one of those ideas is particularly appealing. Well, I'll probably have to do some. leave the um, remaining Pokemon battles actually. So we're going to go through the rest of them before we get there, so we'll find out. You're maxed out on Hardens, okay? Well, I finally learned a new move. Sweet. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. Well, with that done, it's time to end off, so yeah. Till next time.